Good morning Year 4, it's Mrs Dunn here with your daily maths lesson. Today is Friday the 5th of February, so we are going to have our problem solving investigation lesson today. So on the screen you have got a maze. And the maze is full of numbers. And your job today is to find different routes from the start to the finish but as you travel through the maze, you've got to add up each number you pass. So you might wander along here and then down here. So each number that you pass, you're going to add up and then work out the total at the finish line. There are three things that I'd like you to try and do today. I would like you to try and find the lowest total that you can make. So by travelling through the maze in the shortest route, you might find the lowest total. I also want you to find the highest total. So passing as many numbers as you can to give you a really high total. The other thing that I'd like you to do is to try to find a route through the maze that equals exactly 100. So they are three things that I'd like you to try and do today. Let me show you how you might record your work today. So in Teams I have uploaded some um, a sheet that has got some of the mazes on. All of the mazes are exactly the same. So you might want to print that sheet so that you can record your route onto paper. You might just look at the maze on screen and be able to record the numbers that you pass through. So to show your different routes, you might use different colours. So if I start with red, I'm going to draw a route through the maze to the finish line. And then I'm going to record the numbers that I have passed. That will help me to add them up. So I've passed one and four, six, three, two, six. So I'm just literally reading the numbers that I've got under my red line. Five, two, and so on, until I've recorded each of the numbers. And then I need to add those up. When I've done that, I then need to find another solution. So I might change colours this time and find another route. And then again, add up the numbers that I pass. You need to make sure you keep a note of the totals that you have. So if you've used a colour, you might write down what the colour was and the total for that route. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and have a go at finding the lowest total you can, the highest total you can, and then the real challenge to see if you can find a total that is exactly 100. Pause the video, have a go, and then come back to me. Okay, did you start by finding different routes? Did you get your coloured pencils and then start to go through and find lots of different routes? Was it harder than you thought today? Finding the route from start to finish, that's quite an easy thing to do. But was it hard to add up all of those numbers, to record each of those numbers without forgetting one? And the big thing today, did you persevere? Did you keep going year four or did you get frustrated? In Teams, there is a video link 
that shows you some of the possible answers for making 100 as well as the smallest and the greatest total. So what I'd like you to do is open the video link and have a look at the children's solutions in the video. If you found a different solution and you'd like me to check it, then you can email your solution to year4 at brindleyacademy.com and we will have a look at them for you. Hope you enjoyed your Maze 100 Challenge Year 4 and I will see you on Monday. Bye! Bye.